Hey, good morning, church family. It's good to see you today and uh, hope this finds you blessed and doing well in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a couple of things I want to just go over with you today and tell you about as we get into this week and to give you a report from last week first. Let me just do that. Great services, great time. Our crowd was down a little bit. So, uh, but you know, summer's just hit at the same time church is coming back. So we'll, we're going to navigate through all this, but we need you to be faithful in this process of navigating through all these things. So if you can be in church, then be in church. If you're still uh, having issues or you're, you're kind of in that group that, uh, that, uh, that uh, CDC and others have asked you to be extra cautious, then we don't mind you staying at home watching another week or two on the, on the live services. Uh, so that's been going well. The, your, our attendance in the live services has still been just incredibly well. Uh, it's, it's been good because what we're seeing is uh, the, the comments and the shares. We, the more you do that, the better it is because Facebook has an algorithm that produces uh, uh, and sends it out to more people the more we actually engage with it by liking and commenting and sharing. So the more the merrier, amen, we're having thousands of people get exposed to the church's ministry through that medium. So let's continue to be faithful there. Your online attendance is important, even just as important, if not more important, is coming back together. It's a, it's a great time of fellowship. It's good to see people we haven't seen in weeks. So come on in. Uh, there's a place for you. We're practicing social distancing. Those uh, readers are, are we wearing a mask again? And uh, if you approach them with a mask on, they're certainly going to have one on. Even if a pastor doesn't have one on, you approach him. We'll put one on if, you, if you're wearing a mask. So we, we're, we're concerned about your safety and your health as well. So it was a great service come be back with us on Sunday. This coming Sunday, by the way, we're starting back with our children's ministry. You might think, well, is that safe yet? Uh, all over the state of Texas, children's activities have begun from camps on. So yes, we're taking all the necessary precautions. Uh, bring your kids, come on back to church and our ministries are in place. Our workers are in place. If you'd like to help in those different areas of ministry, Hey, let one of our children's directors know from uh, Pastor Matt over at, at the Spring Campus or, uh, or Jenny Hacker at the Magnolia Campus. They're doing a fantastic job. Uh, so not only we begin with children's ministries this Sunday at both campuses, we're also going to begin Wednesday night services on the 17th. So uh, when we come back on to either campus, you'll see the services or when you come in, there'll be a men's Bible study and a women's Bible study and the other activities as well with the other age graded uh, uh, lessons going on. So come on back to church on Wednesday night. Those of you can make the midweek service. It's always an encouragement to, to do that. Some of you are aware that this last Friday we gathered in a parking lot to Magnolia High School. Uh, I didn't get the count. Uh, we just came. With, there was no program, really. We just, as pastors said, let's get our, our folks together. We just put it out on emails and Facebook and things like that. Gathered in the parking lot, uh, maybe seven or eight different churches represented, maybe 10. Uh, we came. We gathered. We just said, Here, here's the program. You can listen in your car through an if heaven channel that we had, or you can or roll down your window and sit on top of your car. Uh, I, I never got the count. I would say there's several hundred people that showed up, if not more, uh, to pray. So people were in their cars praying in the parking lot. People gathered around the, the, the front and prayed with us. Some were just leaning against their cars praying. But man, what a great time it was. The media is not going to show you, for the most part, those activities. They'll give you about, in their 30-minute their media presentation, unless you're watching one of the cable networks, you're going to get but the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst, because that's the way they get their viewers up to have the most horrendous things they can cover. They're not going to cover what, 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 what's really happening in many, many places around the world. Christians are believing God. People are praying for revival, and God is working in so many different ways. But So you don't get a lot of that. So I wanted to add to my little announcement clip this week uh, as we talk about coming back to church and the ministries that are going to be available and activities. I want to show you this little two-minute, I'm not even sure the time, it's about maybe two minutes long, uh, of a video clip that we took while we were at... Uh, at the parking lot and, and praying in, in this last Friday. Uh, thank you, Daryl Lott, for shooting this. In fact, we didn't get all of it. He just got bits and pieces, and he edited those bits and pieces together to kind of give you the feel of what it was like to be in that prayer meeting if you didn't make it. I think you'll see, and even since through the video, that the that the uh, people have a heart for God. People are wanting God to move in our nation. I believe you're part of them. You probably wouldn't even be listening to this. So let's continue to pray, and let's continue to ask God to do something beyond us. I do want to encourage you, if you're really concerned about the issues of the day, if you didn't hear Sunday's sermon, that you go back on Facebook today and or this week sometime when you got some time to really listen and listen to the message that I preach called The Reconciliation. And it talks about the biblical approach to resolution of the problems that we're facing in our nation. So take a moment to listen and not only that, respond in your heart to whatever God might be saying to you. Well, you know, Pastor Joe loves you, Pastor, uh, uh, and, and other pastors from the other campuses. We're all, uh, we're all excited about what God is going to give us these days ahead of us as uh, where we wait for the return of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Listen to the clip. We're going to add it on right here, so just keep watching. 
Merciful God, we come tonight seeking reconciliation, unity, and peace. Love is what it's all about. Pray, Lord, that you give us wisdom on how to engage the tensions that we see in our world today, that we would be united together, that we wouldn't be divided. Help us to see this, these last couple of weeks, not as a political issue, but as a humanity issue. Help us to lead with love, not being divisive. God, I pray for the hearts of the people in this country. God, it's a heart problem that we have. It's a flesh problem that we have. And God, I pray for salvation and revival. But not because of what's going on, because of reform, Father, because we don't need reform, Father. We need revival, Father. Let that revival yes, start Jesus. here in our hearts tonight, Father. Give us boldness to proclaim the name of Jesus to those that don't know you, Father. Father, I pray for our country. I pray for our leaders, Father, that they turn from their own agendas, Father, and seek your face in all things, Father. Father, I pray, Father, that when you ask, Father, whom shall I send, Father, that we can all stand and, Father, say, here am I, send me. Father, I pray for unity, Father. Father, I pray for our police officers that do protect us, Father, that go into areas that, Father, we don't go to, Father. But I do pray for the brokenhearted, Father, but they find refuge, Father. They find love in your arms, Father. Father, we have put many things as a people before you today. Lord, we're here to humble ourselves before you, confess your headship over us. We're here to ask you to forgive us here today, Lord, as well. God, forgive us as a nation and even as a church for all too often forsaking your will, forsaking your way, forsaking your word. Lord, help us to come back to the place of one nation under God and then use us mightily in the name of Jesus for your glory. Help us to abandon our will and our ways and our wants for your word and your will and your ways. So we collectively raise our voice to you and say, come Lord Jesus, do what you desire to do in our life. Prepare us for your glory. It's in your precious name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.